explain to you. Hold on a second. In this video, I'm going to explain to you uh, the proper installation of a valley. Um, this is a very common problem. Not installed correctly. Not uh, no underlayment. But um, right here, I already have the ice and water right here. Uh, I already installed the valley. Got the starter strip in. So the problem is you can have all this uh, installed properly, but the actual shingle installation is incorrect. So what happens is that you come in and you lay your first shingle. Some people will lay this like this, exposing this part, and this will cause leaks as soon as it's way too, way too on uh, the outside of the valley. You want to get in past this. Keeping in mind the ladder format that I was talking to you before. So right there. Then you the nailing. This is usually a very good guide for you if you uh, nail along this uh, the sealant here of the shingle. Now some people leave this like this, or you get a situation like. where it starts getting the top part of the shingle starts getting closer to the to the valley cut there and some people leave that like that and it's very incorrect so in this case I'm already touching and then you go you cut the shingle which is fine because Obviously, obviously, we all have to cut that. So now you got your straight edge. The problem is when you leave this tip on. So what happens is when there's a a rush of water here, or any water or damping that is, the water is trying to find the straightest way down. So obviously it'll go down here. It'll bump off of this starter. It'll even try to crawl underneath. So when it does, it's gonna try to grab onto anything. So in this case, it'll grab onto this. The water will run along here and catch this nail. So to avoid that, cut it like that. That way when the water does come underneath, so you have this shingle right here, the water comes underneath and then it hits this one and goes back into the valley. But if you leave it, the water comes in, grabs onto that shingle and then it'll run and hit this nail. So that's why you have to lift every shingle. Then you finish that off like that. So that's the proper way of actually shingling in the valley in order to avoid any leaks. Thanks.